Module One, Lesson One. Objective today is to interpret a multiplication equation as a comparison. Let's start with the place value chart, and we will label this place value chart. We have ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. So as you see here, we have our hundreds, we have our thousands. So this whole thing here is our place value chart. So we have this problem here of ten times seven ones equaling how many ones, which will equal what number? So let's start by modeling seven ones. If we have seven ones there, and we multiply by ten, what we're doing there. Is for each of these ones, it now is ten. And I'll continue that because one times ten is ten. As you see, each of those is now ten of them, so we can regroup ten of those to one. Ten, so ten ones equals one ten, and I'll do that for each of those. So that we'll end up with how many tens? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven tens, which is which is also worth seventy. And let's go ahead and write that in. So again, it was worth seventy ones, which is also equal to seven tens, which does also equal seventy. Here we have another problem. We're looking at ten times as much as three hundreds. Let's start with a place value chart. You'll notice I'm labeling it a little bit differently this time. It is still ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. I'm writing a number and then an S. Do we start with modeling the ten or the three? Right, it's the three, but what is the three worth? It's worth three hundreds. So where do we put our disks? Right in the hundreds place. Now, what happens when we multiply by ten? Each of these disks is now ten disks instead. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Multiply by ten. Yep. That one hundred now becomes ten hundred, and same thing with that one hundred. It now is ten hundreds because we multiplied by ten, ten times as much. And then we can go ahead and regroup those. Every ten of those hundreds is now worth one thousand. Ten more hundreds is worth. One thousand, and these ten here are also worth one thousand. So the other unit forms that we can go ahead and write there was ten times as much as three hundreds. So that's thirty hundreds, which also was equal to one, two, and three thousands, which in standard form. Would be three thousand. Go ahead and work out this problem. You're looking at ten times as much as four tens. Be sure to draw a place value chart, and then complete what this is worth. Go ahead and pause that video. Did you label your place value chart correctly?
when you were making place value discs, did you put four tens in here? Next, you would multiply by 10. Each of these tens is now worth 10 tens. Because you are multiplying by 10. How many tens will you end up with? And did you end up with? Did you end up with 40 tens? Remember, 10 of those tens can get regrouped to a hundred. So that you have how many hundreds? Four hundreds. And then lastly, you'd write it back in standard form. Four hundreds is worth what? And it's written as four zero zero. Four hundred. Let's read the whole thing together. Ten times as much as four tens is equal to forty tens, which equals four hundreds, which equals four hundred. Let's look at three more problems. We have ten times as much as eight is. So we have eight, and we have ten times more than that. So each of those ones would be multiplied by ten, and one times ten is ten. So we would have eight tens, or eight tens is also worth what? Right, 80. Let's write an 80 there. 10 times as much as 8 is 80. 500 is 10 times as much as blank. Is this blank going to be more or less than 500? Right, it's going to be less. And it's actually 10 times less than 500, which is what? 10 times less than 500. which would be 50. Let's read that whole thing again. 500 is 10 times as much as 50, right? 10 times 50 would give you 500. 4,000 is blank. Blah, 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 much as 400. I'll at least write your much in there. What did you put in? It's 10 times as much as 400. So 10 times 400 would give you 4,000. Or if we look at this here, we have four hundreds. And for each of those hundreds, they're now worth Ten hundreds, so that we would have forty hundreds. Forty times ten is forty hundreds, which does equal four thousand. So what we did today is we worked with place value to be able to interpret and to be able to better understand these multiplication equations as comparisons where numbers are 10 times as much as another number.